Good afternoon guys, MC Crustony here for another 2 minute video as part of the 2 minute series. If you're not familiar with the 2 minute series, check the video link below and you'll find out all about it. The topic of today is Benelli, specifically the Benelli Tornado. So if you guys aren't familiar with this brand, it was introduced around about 1998. It's Benelli being an Italian manufacturer, it was a unique motorcycle, quite individual such as your Ducatis, your MV Augusta, uh, etc. So this, it ran from 1998 to 2003 as a 900 model CC and then they changed it into a 1130cc model and they sort of, yeah, they basically give it an upgrade with regards to looks etc. They kind of modernised it slightly but I'd probably say not enough and that's why it was kind of done away with. Now, this bike was jogged into my memory because when I was talking about MV Augusta the other day, of course, I'd been doing nothing but looking at MV Augustas and... When I originally bought my MV Augusta, going way back to 2006 in the UK, I went for a black Kawasaki ZX-10R into an MV Augusta F4000, and then I had problems with that one, electrical problems, I took back the deal and I ended up buying a brand new one. But before I bought the brand new one, excuse me, one of the uh, bikes on the list, well, there were three bikes I was looking at. I wanted something unique, individual, and really kind of, it wasn't that popular, something that was, you know, not on your street every day like your R1s, etc. So I got it down to the Caddy 1098, which had just been released I, the year before, around about that year, 2007. I think it was just that year. And MV Augusta F4000, three, F4000R, but it was the 312 model. And um, also the Benelli Tornado. Now, the Benelli Tornado was really quite cool. One, I love the green and silver colour, sort of, I guess it was reflect of Italian engineering, you know, um, but one of the things that was quite specific on this bike was on the rear end, I guess where you'd see the upper city exhaust, there was like what looked like two rocket launchers or uh, two turbo engines on the back, which, you know, the kid, out of you, the kid inside of you comes out and goes, wow what is this this is amazing no other bike has this so there's two turbine i'll show you in the picture just here there's two turbine fans on the back now what they actually are they're they're not necessarily cosmetic they actually do have a purpose they actually um, flow air through to the radiator which is really really quite a cool engineering little trick so anyway i, I cut a long story short i jumped on this bike when i was um, looking at the other um, three bikes or the other two bikes sorry and I really didn't like it. It was dated, it was quite bulky, it didn't look as cool when you seen it there that what it did in the pictures and ultimately I made a decision not to get it. However, forward into today, when I was talking about the MV Augusta, you know like something's happening, there's a huge change on the horizon as we know. If you check out both the MV Augusta motorcycle video but also the Mission motorcycle video which is all about electric motor vehicles bigger picture, electric vehicles in general, there's going to be a day where things like this, the RS34, are going to be a part of history, they're going to be legacy, they're not going to longer exist. And when you think about that, you know, like maybe that's going to happen over the next 10 to 20 years, now is the time, you know, if you've got disposable funds, if you've got disposable income, to buy these things up while you can, because there's going to be a part of history that will just flitter away. I'm, I love motorcycles, I, I've said this numerous times, I'm not a crazy rider out there, I'm not a fantastic rider, but I really love bikes, I love really the, the kind of uniqueness that you get from a bike that you perhaps don't get in some cars, and probably more affordability as well, like you could buy an MV Augusta for you know, $30,000 and you, you can't buy a Lamborghini or a Ferrari for even close to that, so it gives people with not the same kind of disposable income as somebody like a footballer, the ability to be able to buy something quite unique. So anyway, where I'm going with this is that I realized that there's some bikes that I'd still like to own. So I probably have a list of five bikes that I can shortlist. I've got a MV Augusta, uh, maybe even a couple of MV Augustas, uh, Ducati 1098, Ducati 848, and uh, possibly a Benelli 3, but also one of the last things, simple Honda NC30 amazingly iconic bike from the 1990s might even be in the late 80s early 90s so if you had the question is if you had the money that you require to be able to buy the things that really interest you from the past what would you buy and what are the reasons for that it'd be great to find out your comments so guys hopefully you've learned something about Benelli 
and this is another two minute video, it's Epson Crust Road.